The spinal cord tracts are divided into two types. The first one is a motor tract and the second one is a sensory tract. The motor tract include corticospinal tract and the sensory tracts are further divided into two types. The first one is a spinothalamic tract which carry pain, temperature and touch fiber while the second one is a dorsal column tract also called as a dorsal column medial lemniscus system it carry a sense of vibration, proprioception and fine touch. Before going into the detail of individual tract, let's study the anatomy of a spinal cord briefly. The spinal cord are divided into two structures, the central gray matter and the outer white matter. The white matter is further divided into three portions. The, the first one the dorsal column, this is the lateral column and the third one is an anterior column and the central gray matter is divided into horn the dorsal horn or the posterior horn and the ventral horn also called as a anterior horn now let's study each of the individual tract in detail the first one is the spinothalamic tract as the name indicates spine and thalamic so it so this tract carry an electrical signal from spine to the thalamus how it work whenever we feel a sensation of pain temperature and touch of on the left side on the left side from the peripheral nerve ending these sensations are carried to the dorsal column or dorsal horn of a spinal cord through a nerve and the dorsal column it will synapse with second neuron and this neuron will decussate mean that it will move toward the opposite side and it will ascend till the thalamus similarly on the right side the, the sensation of pain temperature and touch are, are travel from the peripheral nerve ending to the dorsal column and it will again de decussate mean that it will cross toward the opposite side and will ascend till the thalamus. So it means that the sp in the spinothalamic tract there is a decussation at the level of a spinal cord. So in the spinal cord the right side contain a pain temperature and touch sensation from the left side and the left side of a spinal cord contains these sensations from the right side. It was all about the spinothalamic tract that how the electrical signal are carried in spinothalamic tract. Now come toward the second sensory tract, the dorsal column medial lemniscus system. This system carry the sensation of vibration, proprioception and fine touch. How this system work? Whenever our peripheral nerve ending feel the sensation of vibration proprioception and fine touch these sensation will reach from both right side and the left side to the dorsal column at the dorsal column it will it will rise upward in the spinal cord so in the spinal cord the dorsal column system carry the ipsilateral nerve fiber mean the right side will contain a fiber from the right side and the left side of a spinal cord contain the nerve fiber from the left side these nerve fiber will raise in the spinal cord and will decussate mean cross at the level of the medulla. After crossing at the level of medulla it will reach the thalamus and our body and our brain will perceive the sensation of vibration, proprioception and fine touch. So what is the main difference between the spinothalamic and the dorsal column system? The main difference is that in both system the decussation occur but the decussation occur at different level. So due to this different level of a decussation, the patient will present with a different clinical feature. Like if there is a uh, brown sequat syndrome, mean the hemiparesis or the half of the spinal cord get damaged. So it will carry, so it will affect the ipsilateral uh, vibration, proprioception and fine touch, while it will affect the contralateral pain, temperature and touch sensation. It was all about the sensory tract. Now come toward the motor tract. The motor tract include a corticospinal tract. The corticospinal tract control the motor activity of a human body. It consists of two neurons. The upper motor neuron and the lower motor neuron. The upper motor neuron arises from the motor cortex. It carries the elect uh, electrical activity from the uh, motor cortex which uh, then it came down. It passes through the internal capsule then midbrain, then pon, and then medulla. At the level of the medulla, about 95% of the fiber decussate and it will reach the spinal cord, while the remaining 5% of the fiber 
do not decussate and will reach the spinal cord and it will decussate at the level of a spinal cord. So this neuron is called as an upper motor neuron. This upper motor neuron synapses with the another neuron in the spinal cord anterior horn cell called as a lower motor neuron. This lower motor neuron carry the peripheral sensation and perform and control the motor activity of a human body. In this way, with the help of upper motor neuron and the lower motor neuron, the, mo the corticospinal tract control the motor activity of a human body. It was all about the spinal cord tract. If there is still any question, you guys can ask and stay tuned for more update.